you start over. I love this playlist too. That's why we're using it again. Okay, well, you have a vision of what's going to happen in the beginning, but to give you a nice full class, let's start from the top. So you can press play on whatever version of the playlist you have in four, three, two, one. It's like a prayer. Turn it up. Hopefully it's right. Find your way on your back. Spread your knees out really wide. And guess what? We're just going to start all of that over. Hands on body. Now you have some force that you know where we're going. Start with a big breath in. Big breath out. Let it go. One more just like that. Full inhale. Full exhale. A few extra crunches never hurt. Bring your hands behind your head. You lift your shoulders and then you start to move. You lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Exhales as you rise and then keep your elbows out really wide, right? So they're in your periphery and you shouldn't even be able to see them. That's how wide they are. Lead with your chest rather than your chin or your neck chest keeps reaching towards the sky it's almost like an upward motion rather than a forward motion for four three two hold at the top tiny pulses extend your arms out shoulders are fluttering off your mat see if you can get them an inch higher each time keep pressing into the soles of your feet keep breathing don't hold your breath here. There's a huge tendency to keep it moving. You got four, three, back to sit-ups in two, and one, hands to head. You lift, lower, lift, then lower. So you can stay right here and keep getting this basic crunch into your lower abs. If you want to add on, you can tap opposite elbow, opposite knee. So that'll get into your obliques more than your lower abs. Really just depends on where you want to focus here, what kind of movement you want to bring into your body and space. For eight, seven, last six, take five, go for four, three, two, Legs go up the wall, climb your rope, reach right, pinky, left, reach, reach. So you're reaching to those opposite pinky toes. Again, shoulders lifting here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, tiny pulses, two, one, hands to center, reach it up. Reach to the sky. Let your shoulders get higher off your mat every single time. Just eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it up into one. Hold it all the way up. See if you can get your shoulders a little bit higher, but avoid crunching them into your ears. Soften them. Yes, a little bit higher, a little bit stronger. Last four. Go, Trin. Three. Yes, Casey. Two. Rock and roll all the way to the top of your mat. Find a high plank. High plank. Press down into your palms. Really round out through your upper back, soften your shoulders. So it's tap right, knee, tap, knee, tap, knee. If I were facing you guys, it would look like this. So you're not only getting that outer inner thigh action, but you're also getting that cross body here. Eight, seven, six, last five. You got four, three, hold that knee in two, and one, hold that knee, and then take it across your body, open up, fall and star, right? So you're facing the left side of your mat, press down through your right palm, breathe in. Exhale, come back to a high plank, switch it out. This time it's the left leg taps, cross body, tap, cross body, tap, cross body. Yes. I've been wearing these like sweaters a lot lately in class. They're from Costco. They're my new favorite thing ever. I think the last four classes I've worn them. Last eight, seven, 
Go six. Yes, Vivi, for five. Go, Elsa, you have four. Three, keep that knee in. Two, one, knee goes in. Tap it to the right side of your mat. Open up, fall and start. You got it on the other side. Press down through your left to open your chest. Reach up through your right palm, breathe in. And then exhale, palms come back to your mat. Hold high plank, hold, breathe, reset. Establish, you've got eight, seven, last six. Yes, you can, here's five. Breathe it in for four, three, downward facing dog in two, one, up and back, big breath in, big breath out. This might feel a little tight in your body. Make it the down dog that you need tonight, right? Maybe that means a bigger bend in your knees. That's totally fine. Maybe it's a little bit of a shorter stance. Maybe it's longer, but just kind of hang out here for two rounds of breath. Inhale, big, big exhale, big inhale. Maybe you make some noise, let it go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, crawl your feet behind your palms. Little tiptoes to the top of your mat. Hang out at the bottom, find a ragdoll pose. Stretch out through the back line of your body, through your calves, your Achilles, your hamstrings, all of that goodness. And then let your head hang really heavy at the bottom, right? We let gravity do work on our bodies here to find those little releases. Slowly plant your palms to your mat if you have that accessibility. And then find a comfortable stance here, right? Maybe let's feet together, maybe they stay wide. Inhale, half lift. Find a flat back, palms go wherever you want. And then exhale, forward fold, body goes heavy. Inhale, mountain pose, rise really, really tall. Exhale, back bend, cactus your arms, lift your heart. Inhale, sweep them back up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift as your breath in. And then squat round and curl on your exhale. Maybe you can detail your feet to touch. Tuck your chin into your chest. Feel that stretch through your entire spine, up through your neck and the crown of your head. Breathe in. Big breath out. Let's flow that two times. Breath to movement. Drop your heels. Rise tall. Breathe in. Back bend. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold, flat back, inhale, half lift, squat round, curl, one full cycle, breathe into your upper back, breathe out heavy through your mouth, last time, heels drop, body raises, inhale, back bend, let it melt, inhale, arms reach high, exhale, forward fold, halfway lift, breathe in, Squat round, curl, pause, two cycles of breath. Breathe in light, let go of darkness. Breathe in that energy that fills you up. And then let go of whatever you don't need. Hang your palms, step back, high plank. And then slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Elbows stay knitted in. Nice, from here, uncurl your toes. Press them down to the tops of your mats. And then lift your chest as if you're going into a baby cobra, but extend your arms out straight in front of you. From here, take your Spider-Man pulse. So it's back, reach forward, back, reach forward. There are exhales on that pull. Not only is this strengthening your lower back, it's also getting into your upper back and a little bit of bicep tricep work. Not a lot, nothing crazy, but it's increasing that flexibility, that strength in your back. It's also helping you with some shoulder mobility here. Keep your gaze down solid. You got four, three, two, one. Lower your head down, bring your palms right underneath your shoulders, curl your toes on a big inhale, press up one solid line, high plank, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips bump up and back, inhale. Open mouth, empty, empty, let it go. Ha, 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 
reach your right heel high. Square your hips, flex your toes, get really long through that right side. Almost like you're stamping your heel on the ceiling. And then bring some awareness to your body part, right? What are small changes, small shifts you can make to make this pose feel better or stronger? Breathe in. Exhale, knee to your left tricep. Take that cross body action again. Open up into fallen star. Ooh. From here, we'll do a few thread the needles. Nothing crazy, right? So it's thread, lift. If this feels like a lot on your shoulders, you can come into a more traditional side plank, but not here for super long. Four, three, two, one, finish out your last one. Plant your palms, inhale, three-legged downward facing dog. Exhale, a little lunge, bring it to the top of your mat. Find your solid foundation, and then rise your arms to the sky, lift your chest. Squeeze your inner thighs together, take a big breath in. Double lunge is your exhale, hands come to heart. Hover, float that back left knee. Palms are really anchored towards your chest, towards your midline. Take a moment to roll your shoulders back and then re-anchor your front right foot. Nice. From here, big motion to the side. Inhale, star pose. Heels in, toes out, right? So pivot all the way over to the side. Shake out your hips. Take a big breath in. Exhale, horse. Hands come to heart. Bend in your knees. Tiny pulse here. Just four. Three. Yes, Gina. Two. And one, inhale, star, really tall, big, breathe in. Exhale, warrior two, your front right toes are pointed forward, back left toes, track to the side of your mat. Soften your shoulders, send your gaze in front of you. And then inhale for reverse warrior, just tick tock your arms up and back, get that big reach through your right side, breathe in. Exhale, high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana, or any variation of this vinyasa that you want. Inhale up, exhale down dog, big breath in, huge breath out, left heel rises, hip square, flex your heel all the way to the ceiling so you get that act activation, that's the word I'm looking for, breathe in. Exhale knee across your body, open up, fall in star, and then take those thread the needles and either this ball and star shape, or you can always take side plank here, or you can just hold it and ditch the thread the needle action. Four, three, last two, and one. Plant your palms, inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, low lunge, it's to the top of your mat. Inhale, crescent, rise really tall. Balance your body out. Bend a little bit deeper into your front left knee. Breathe in. Exhale, double lunge, hands to heart, hover, hold. Back right knee is slightly off your mat, but super engaged here, right? This is a pretty big stretch in your right hip. So know that it's okay if you feel some stretch there. Inhale, start, open it up. Other side of your mat, shake out your hips, shake out your legs, your arms, whatever you need. Breathe in, get big. Exhale, hands to heart, horse, tiny pulses. Just a quick little set here. Come back to your breath. Come back to your body. That place that allows you to fill up with so much light, so much energy, so much brightness. For four. Last three. Star. Tall in two. And one on your inhale, fill all the way up, get big. Exhale, warrior two, top of your mat, bend into that left knee. Shoulders soften, but are still square to the side. Knees in front of you. Inhale, reverse warrior, back arm, back leg. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana. You can always take cobra, you can do up dog, you can ditch it. And then find downward facing dog, breathe in. Breathe all the way out. <sighs> Inhale, reach your right heel high. Let's add on some spice. Bring it all the way across your body. Fall in star. Tap your leg all the way across, but keep your shoulders anchored in the square position. And then it's a push-up variation. So from here, narrow arm push-ups. 
lower lift. If you want, you can take regular. You can take them on your knees. Just four, just three, just two, and one. Inhale, three-legged down dog, right heel lifts, unravel from that. Exhale, low lunge, top of your mat, ground down. Inhale, crescent, lunge, rise tall. Exhale, hands to heart, just a pulse to start. Hands to heart. Come back to breath, back to body. You got four, three, full lunges, two, and one. Lower, lift, lower, lift. So really feeling that pressure down through your right foot, right? That's what's helping you stay grounded, stay stable, hips nice and square. Four, three, you got two. Last one, finish it out. Inhale, crescent, straighten through your back, left knee, breathe in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star, heels in, toes out. And then exhale, horse, hands to heart, back to that pulse. Tiny to the ground, little small movement, up an inch, down an inch for four, three, two, one, hold it really low. Now lift your heels. Just hold balance, right? Sometimes to help your balance, there's a tendency to lean forward a lot. See if you can straighten everything out. Get long through your tailbone. Maybe that means tucking just a little bit. Or think of lengthening down to the ground. Heels lift. For four, three, star in two, and one. Inhale, star, get right. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa of choice, whatever you want. Bring it home, up dog, down dog. Breathe in. Breathe all the way out. Left side, let's get it. Reach your left heel high. Exhale, knee to your right tricep. Open up, fall and start. Hips stay square, shoulders square, lower, lift. So it's these tricep push-ups, right? It's really hard for me to speak and do them at the same time. Four, three, two, yes, back. One, inhale, three-legged down dog, left heel high. Exhale, low lunge, top of your mat. Inhale, crescent, rise really tall. Exhale, hands to heart, start with the pulse. Come back to your heartbeat if it feels like it's escaping you at all, right? We move pretty quickly, but then we also have these moments in between where we can pause, where we can reflect, where we can come back to our bodies and our integrity. Four, three, double lunge in two, and one, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Keep going, yes. Feel like you're on two railroad tracks, right? Knees are both pointed forward. Shoulders are over your hips. Four. Last three. Yes, Nora. Go, Massa. You got two. And one. Inhale, crescent. Straighten through your back. Right leg, arms high. Breathe in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, start. Take it up. Exhale, horse can start, just the pulse, right? Keeping it really simple. Sometimes when we stay nice and simple, that's when we can get really effective. Feel all of your muscles working here, right? It's not just your lower half. See if you can make this a whole body experience. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, star all the way up. Feel that energy down through your heels, up through your fingertips. Exhale, warrior two, pivot back to the top of your mat. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, high plank, pause at the bottom. Whoo! All righty, you got a few options here. We're going into a push-up series. You can start with wide arm push-ups. If that would, that's what you want to start with, cool. You can also start with narrow arm push-ups, if that's where you wanna be. So pick your poison, or rather you're like, 
whatever the opposite of poison is. I don't know, poison sounded negative, but just get straight into it, right? Just because I'm not doing it doesn't mean you get to stop. Wherever you're at next day is really long. You got just a few more and then it's a high plank. Last four, three, high plank in two, and one. Situate your hands back underneath your shoulders and then back with what we started, right? It's that tap, across, tap, cross, tap, cross. Stay on the right side. If your palms aren't doing this today, you can also stand up. This is super effective too. Just depends on what your body's feeling today. Four, three, open up fallen star, two, one, right knee comes in, open up fallen star. From here you choose, is it thread the needle? Or is it a few more of those push-ups? Just four. Just three. Yes, you guys look so good. Last two. And one. Unravel your body. Come back to high plank. You can take a quick down dog if you want. And then ripple forward. Guess what? We got that left side. Out. Cross. Out. Cross. Woo. Standing is an option too, right? Wherever you're at, think of the parts of your body that are working. There's a lot of them, I promise. See if you can feel them. See if you can tweak small shifts for bigger impact. Last four, three, two, hold it across, five, fall and star. Whatever you did on the other side, you can take it on this side. You can thread the needle. You can take some more push-ups. Give yourself a few more. Last four, three, two, one. Woo, back to center. Drop down to your knees. Grab some water, towel off. If you're with someone, give them a high five. If you're not, here's your virtual high five. I wish I could like jump through the screen and give you guys all high fives and big hugs. Then maybe that'll happen soon. Grab some water. Towel off. Stand up on your feet. Alrighty, shake your legs out. Pull your leggings up if you need to because these are really old. And then start your jacks. This feels like an extra chatty sculpt today. Sorry. Four. Three. Add a punch in two. One, so it's cross, jack, cross, jack, cross, jack. Your legs keep moving, right? Maybe it becomes like this shifted step. That works too. Stay light on your toes, open in your heart, lift it in your head and gaze. Go, go, you got it, eight. Seven, yes, back. Six, last five. Go, Gina. You got four. Last three, yes, Nora. Two, out of kick. One, so it's jack, kick, jack, kick, jack, kick. If going side to side is a lot, it might be. You can stay on one side and then switch. I'll tell you when to switch if you want, or you can alternate. <laughs> Let your kick be really expressive, right? It's okay if you kind of feel wobbly. This move makes me feel wobbly, but it's really fun, I think. Eight, seven. If you're alternating, keep going. If you're switching, this is your countdown to switch. Four, three, keep going if you're alternating. And then if you were just doing one side, switch to the other side. I told you I'd give it to you. But if you were alternating, keep going. We don't have that much more time in these funky kick jack things. So let your body have some fun with it, right? It's okay if you look like a nut. Keep your body moving. Whew. Eight. Seven, yes, KC, six, Gotrin, five, yes, Massa, four, Vivi, three, Elsa, two, one, fast 
feet, just move your legs. Whew. I hope your music dropped at the same time mine did because that was pretty cool. Get a little bit lower, run a little bit faster. Let every single part of your body shake, right? Let everything go. Maybe it's even fluttering of your lips. Now get a little bit lower if you can. Now run a little bit faster if you want. Yes! Here's eight. Here's seven. You got six. You take five. Just plant in four. You squat in three, two, one. Plant your feet. Lower, lift. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two. Pulse it low, hips stay back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold in two, one. Get really low, hold, breathe, hold, breathe. See if your hips bump a little bit further back. See if your glutes get a little bit lower. Four, three, full range, two, up and down. Last little bit, you lower, lift, lower, lift. You always have options. This is one option. Squat jumps are another option. One is not better than the next. They're just different, try them on. You don't have to stick with the same option the whole time. You got 20 seconds left. So try them out. Eight, six, last four, last two. One, stand it tall, freeze your feet, maybe close your eyes. Hands can go on body or just by your sides. <sighs> Avoid any fidgeting. Notice what's going on in your body in all parts of it, breathe in. Big breath out, let it go. <sighs> this time make more noise on the exhale, breathe in. Loud exhale, <sighs> one more inhale. Flutter your lips, exhale. Well, all righty, inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward, fold, dive it down. Halfway lift, flat back. Squat round, curl, just to four, two cycles of breath. Sometimes it feels nice after you've been up and have a lot of exhilaration to come back down to your mat and something small, breathe in. Big breath out, let it go. Come back to a high plank. I said this was total body, it always is, but I guess I made today a lot more focused on the arms. Whatever you chose the first time, if it was narrow or wide, choose the opposite here. Lower, lift. We won't be going in to those devilish star or fallen star push-ups, so choose the opposite of what you did the first time. If you did wide the first time, take them narrow. If you did narrow the first time, take them wide here. Yes. You have just a few more here. Last four, three, open up, side plank, two, one. Pick a side, open up, find yourself on your forearm, hand on your hip, just pulse to the sky, up, up. If you want, you can always lift that top leg. That adds a little bit of a funky challenge. If you are craving some more on your palms for some reason, you can do this up on your palm too. I find it a little more accessible on your forearm. Four, three, two, one. Come through center, find a forearm plank. Forearm plank, forearm plank, forearm plank, forearm plank. Just rock it forward and back. Tiny movements forward, tiny movements back. So reaching over your shoulders and going back to your heels. This should feel Almost like it neutralizes you a little bit. Just four, three, open up to the other side. Two, and one, open up, other side. You got a side plank, bump your hips to the sky. Tiny, tiny movements up. Hand can go on your hip, it can stay lifted. That top leg can lift. You got 20 seconds here. Tiny to the sky, breathing through your body, feeling yourself light up. Four, three, Two, high plank, hold, 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 just four. Just three, just two, one. Drop down to your knees, towel off, grab some water. Guess what? It's 
that means you got like 10 minutes left of class. Stand all the way up, which means this is our last song of work. Stand up, shake your legs out, shake your shoulders out, shake your arms out, sweep your arms up to the sky, start at the back of your mat, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out, walk it forward. High plank, high plank, this is the last song you're here for, I promise. Whew. So, you can take a deconstructed burpee, right? We know what that is, walking forward, stepping up, walking back. You can take slow mountain climbers, or you can take slow squats. The goal for this first minute is to keep the movement slow. No need to pick it up or go too fast. Hmm. And keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hopefully whatever you're playing is still playing. Whew. And then in just a little bit, you're gonna pick up the pace in four. I have no idea if I'm hitting the beat. Three, in two, and one. Pick up the pace. If you were in slow mountain climbers, make them fast. If you were in deconstructed burpees, make them fast. If you were in regular squats, take power squats or squat jumps. You got just a little bit more here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, you can. You guys look so freaking good. Keep crushing it, keep crushing it. You got eight, you have seven, you have six. Last five, hold that high plank in four, three, two, one, I'm gonna guess we're at like three minutes. Hold your high plank. Hold your high plank. Hold your high plank. Last four. Last three. Step it up, top of your mat. Basic squats. Two, one. Lower, lift, lower, lower, lift, lower, All right, they turn into squat jumps. In four, three, two, one, pull at the top. Light in your toes. You got just a little bit more. Eight, seven, yes you can, you got six. You find five, pulse it low, just four. Last three, yes, Elsa, go two. Nice, BV, one. Pulse in low, find that squat, get low. Pulse, pulse, pulse. You got less than a minute. Maybe your song already ended, I'm sorry. We got less than a minute on my watch. Keep going, stay really low, stay really low. Tell yourself you can. Tell yourself that you are freaking shining. You look good, you're glowing. I don't care if it's sweat or vibrant energy. Whatever it is, get a little bit lower. Pulse a little bit more intentionally. For four, you hold a plank to finish. Three, that's it. Two, plant your palms, step back, high plank. Just hold and breathe, just hold and breathe. Hold, breathe. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. So many number six, five, Four, three, two, knees drop. Whoo, towel off, grab some water. Whoo, come down to your glutes. Send your legs straight in front of you. Before you fold forward, maybe just give them a little rub. Just as arm, upper body intensive this one. That last five minute series was very lower body heavy. Sweep your arms high, breathe in. Exhale, seated forward, fold. <sighs> Let your heart be heavy here. Let your body find that physical connection. That's to self and then to the ground. Big breath in. Big, big breath out, let it go. Slowly peel your
your body all the way up. And I want you to stay seated here for just a moment. Press your sits bones down. See if you can feel a lot of length from the floor all the way through your spine up to the crown of your head. Now envision that again, that same lengthening through your spine, through the crown of your head, but at the base, feel like there's a really bright light, something that's just filling, filling, filling your solar plexus chakras, like right through your spine area. Let your glutes ground out, feel that light trickle all the way up through your spine to the crown of your head and let it get really big, breathe in. Big breath out, let it go. Slowly roll down onto your back. Hug your knees into chest. Maybe a few circles clockwise, maybe a few counterclockwise. And then it's an easy supine twist over to the right. Gaze goes to the left. Breathe in. Breathe all the way out. Please come back into center, reset, take a slight squeeze, and then drop them over to the left. Knees over to the right, if that feels good in your body. Hips stop, knees stop, breathe in. Breathe all the way out. Come back to center. Find a really, really tight ball. Let yourself fill up with all that bright light. Breathe in. And then exhale. Welcome to your Shavasana. Just land. Give yourself the next few moments to surrender to your space. And let your body radiate through energy, light, vibrance, strength, whatever it is that you start to feel in your body, let that fuel you as you restore and prepare for what's to come. have some time and it feels right, stay here. If you feel like you're ready to move on with the rest of your evening, then start to deepen your breath and start to notice the places in your body that either feel lighter, that feel like they've been stretched out, strengthened, or the places that make me feel tight still. It's okay to have both. Bring some movement to your fingertips and your toes, to your wrists and your ankles. And then when you feel ready, take a full good morning stretch. Extend yourself to all four sides of your mat, maybe bigger, maybe fuller. Breathe in. Exhale rolls you over to supported fetal position. Really small, compact in your space. 
letting that vibrance, that energetic light within you start to cultivate in something small. Let it find its places, its tightness almost. Yeah. And keeping that in your mind, press up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to heart. Maybe close your eyes or find a soft gaze and then take a big breath out. So exhale. Uh, breathe in through your nose. Breathe all the way out through your mouth. And then start to rub your palms together. Rub, 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 rub your palms together, creating all of that heat, all of that energy. Letting it build, 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 breathe in, get faster. And then exhale, palms over your heart, hop back into palms. Feel that warmth radiate through your body. Take a soft inhale. Soft exhale. Thumbs float up to your third eye center if that feels right to you. Inhale to lift and lengthen through the crown of your head to ground down through your sits bones, a little bit more in. Exhale, bow forward to seal it in, to let it go, and to light up your world and those around you. That is best. Thanks for bearing with me tonight. Um, thanks for always coming along on the journey. Happy almost one year to these Zoom classes. Happy almost first day of spring. Happy almost Persian New Year. Happy one step closer to everyone getting vaccinated. I hope you have a great evening. I'll see you guys later. I love this song, hopefully you do too. Thank you. Thanks.